that does not know God. This is a generation that does not fear God. This is a generation that doesn't even care about the Lord. This is a generation that sticks their finger in the eye of God and saying, we can watch our perversion, we can watch our dirty dancing, and you won't do anything, God. We'll just say we're sorry afterwards and you'll forgive us because you're nothing but a vending machine handing out pardons. Well, that's not the God of the Bible. God is not a fool, folks. God is not a fool. It's time to humble yourself and cry out to God for this wickedness, this perversion that you're... You're, you're taking part in. The Bible says not to be partakers with the unrighteous, but here you are being partakers with this woman that's going to gyrate and do dirty dancing with her whips. Do dirty dancing with her whips and dancing all sexy in front of your children. And most of you don't think there's any problem with that at all. How far this nation has fallen, how far we have fallen to think that this is acceptable in America. It's because this is not a nation under God. This is not a nation under God. This is a nation that loves its perversion. This is a nation that loves its wickedness. This is a nation that loves its idols, but it does not love God. This is a nation that does not love God. It loves its idols. How shameful this is, folks. Shame on you if you're here. You need to repent, folks. If you call yourself by the name of the Lord, if you call yourself a Christian, it's time to tear up your tickets and go home. This is not where good Christian women should be. This is not where good Christian men should be. Do you think Jesus would be here watching her doing some sadomasochism sado ritual on stage with whips and snakes? Do you think Jesus would be a partaker with this? No, he would not, folks. No, he would not. And neither should you. The Bible says what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness. What communion does light have with darkness, folks? This is darkness. This is an event of darkness, and you are partakers with this darkness tonight if you are here. You are partakers with this darkness. It's time to repent. It's time to cry out to God for mercy, but most of you don't even fear God. You don't fear the God of the Bible, but you should, folks. It's the beginning of wisdom. The Bible says, by the fear of God, men depart from evil. By the fear of God, men depart from evil. And there is much evil and wickedness throughout this nation. There is much wickedness and perversion throughout this nation. But what do the Christians do? They just indulge themselves in it. They indulge themselves in it. And why should it surprise us? The Apostle Paul said, in the last days, perilous times would come where men would be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, and that's what we have in America, are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Giving glory to people, giving glory to the creature rather than the creator. Giving glory to the creature rather than the creator, folks, it should not be. This is not right. This is not right. Bringing your small children here. You are bad parents if you are bringing your small children in here. And God will hold you responsible. God will hold you responsible for the pollution that you are putting in these children's mind. The Lord will hold you responsible for the pollution that you are about to put in these children, your children's mind. Do you not even care for your children? Polluting them in perversion and harlot dancing and harlotry? You bring your children here and you think it's normal, it's just good American entertainment, folks, you're deceived. You are deceived, folks. It's time to wake up, folks. It is time to wake up. Judgment will come to this nation. Judgment will come to this nation, folks. This nation that kills 60 million babies. This nation that has out of 60 million innocent babies on its hands. Work here. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's worse than, than these people even know, man. I feel you know the same what? Way it's like they're, they're drinking the Kool Aid, man. So, yeah. you're a Christian? Yes, sir. Man, you got you to you gotta be bold, man. Be yeah. bold. We're in the last days, man. God's going to yeah. judge this nation. Yeah, he is. He's he going to judge man. this. So, we're, we're here just, just to warn those with ears to hear. Man, it is. You go in there and backstage, all of her props have Baphomet heads and stuff on it. And it, I mean, it's. So, you've been behind not, stage and they got Baphomet heads? On, on the cases. Oh and, my and gosh. Her, her props, one of the songs, few songs that she does, yeah. have, have serpent heads on Serpent heads? It. I mean, it's, it's demonic. It's beyond. Can you, just can you believe that people taking their little children there, the little girls here? And I, 
Yeah. You know what? Shows I've seen that the worst of this could take in the kids. Man, this, yeah. this, this is bad, man. Yeah. I just want to commend you guys. I'm actually hey. late for work. Bro. Well, God bless you, man. God bless you. For addressing your little daughters like this will be held responsible. God will hold you accountable for perverting your children, for perverting the, the minds of these young, innocent girls. You parents will be held responsible. God is going to hold you parents responsible for polluting the minds of your little daughters. <clears throat> the disgusting parents polluting the minds of their little daughters. And they don't even have any shame. They think it's normal. They think it's normal that they can, their daughters can go in and watch half-naked women dancing with snakes, dancing with whips, doing sadomasochism rituals. And it's a great place to send your little daughters, right? Shame on you bad parents. You are bad parents bringing your kids here. And tomorrow you'll be in church after you've watched some S&M bondage entertainment, right? Yes, yeah, strip club tonight and church in the morning, right? Shame on you folks. Many of you calling yourselves Christians, well, you're not Christians at all. Well, you might be Christians. You're what, what Jesus called lukewarm Christians. What is Jesus going to do to the lukewarm? Jesus said, I wish you were either hot or cold. But because you're lukewarm, I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. That is what Jesus is going to do to the lukewarm warm Christians that are bringing their little children to watch perversion and wickedness and pervert old dads. That's what Jesus is going to do to you. He's going to vomit you out of his mouth and you bring your little daughters here. You bring your little daughters in here to pollute their minds and their eyes, putting this imagery in their heads. Putting the sadomasochism, the whips, the snakes in the minds of your little daughters and you think it's normal. You think it's normal and healthy. How polluted and perverted you are. Shameful. Shame, shame, shame. This is a nation that does not know God. This is a nation that does not know God. A nation that embraces lewdness, a nation that embraces perversion and dirty dancing and idolatry. This is a nation that does not know God. And God is getting ready to judge this nation, this nation that has forsaken God. This nation that has forsaken God and embraces wickedness and perversion and sexual dancing and whips and snakes and witchcraft and all sorts of perversion, bringing your small children here. Shame on you wicked parents, bringing your little children here. You should be protecting your kids. You should be protecting your children, but instead you pollute them. Instead